In this video, I'll show you two examples on how to plot and calculate slope of exponential functions. I want to start off by quickly discussing the difference between semi-log graphs and log graphs. In a semi-log graph, one axis has a logarithmic scale and the other has a linear scale. Whereas in a log graph, both axes have a logarithmic scale. That being said, question one reads, plot the following exponential function for x is equal to 1 through 10 and calculate the slope of the resulting line on semi-log paper. The function that we are operating with is y is equal to 100 times e to the power of negative 0 0.2x. And remember, this is an exponential function because it follows the template y is equal to a times e to the power of negative nt. So we're going to expect exponential decay due to this negative. The semi-log paper that I have is shown below. And I'll start off by evaluating what happens between 0 and 10. Even though the question mentions 1 through 10, it's always good to start off at 0. So using our calculator to do this, we have for the first point 100 times e to the power of negative decimal 2 times 0. And this gives us 100. For the next input 1, all I have to do is change this 0 into a 1. And that gives me 81 decimal 87. I'll do this for the rest of the inputs. And these are the following outputs you should get. So I've gone ahead and filled this out. Now I have to plot these points. The first point that we'll plot is 0 and 100. The next point is 1 and 81 decimal 9. So just to be aware of what's happening here, this is 10, this is 20, this is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and this is 90. So 1 and 81 decimal 9 will be between 80 and 90. So that should be approximately here. Our next point is 2 and 67. 2 and 67 will be between 6 and 7. So around here. 3 and 54 decimal 9, 3 and 54 decimal 9, that's around here. 4 and around 45, 4 and around 45 is here. Instead of wasting your time showing you how to plot the rest, here's what it should look like. Now you can try to connect these points with a smooth curve. I'll try my best. And to find the slope, I need to use the formula rise over run. So recall that slope is equal to rise over run. And what I have to do is pick two points. I'll pick this point and I'll pick this point. This point has the coordinates 10 and 13 and a half. This point has the coordinates 0 and 100. My run is the distance from here to here and that's 10. So my run is 10 minus 0, the difference. And to find my rise, I have to use the ln of this coordinate minus the ln of this coordinate. So remember, this was my second point. This was my first point. And the formula for slope is rise over run. In other words, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And the reason why we lawn these numbers is because on the y-axis, the scale is logarithmic. If the scale were linear, we would simply subtract the two y-coordinates. That being said, let's use our calculator to compute this. We have ln of 13 decimal 5 minus ln of 100. That gives us negative 2.0. And we're going to divide this number by 10 because 10 minus 0 is 10. Divide by 10 gives us negative 0 0.2. So negative 2 divided by 10 is negative 0 decimal 2. That right there is our rate. Now that we've completed question 1, let's move on to question 2. In question 2, they ask us to plot the power function of x is equal to 1 
to 10 and calculate the slope of the resulting line on log log paper this time. So this time both of the axes will be on a logarithmic scale. The function that we are working with is y is equal to 2 decimal 5 x to the power of 1.4. And notice the difference between a power function and an exponential function. A power function does not have the number e. That being said, we can fill in all of these outputs by placing these inputs into our equation. And if you do it correctly, you should end up with the following numbers. Next, we will plot these points. And notice that in this table, we didn't have x is equal to 0. Because if we place x is equal to 0, we'll just end up with 0. So there's no point to it. The first point that we'll be plotting is 1 and 2.5. 1 and 2.5 is, well, that's 1. And 2.5, this will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So 1 and 2.5 will be right here. My next point will be 2 and 6.6. .6. So 2, this is my 2, and 6.6 .6 will be in between these two lines. 3 and 11, that's 3, and 11 should be around here, because this next line represents 20 on the y-axis. My next point is 4 and 17.4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 17.4 should be somewhere here. 5 and 23.8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, should be over here, 6 and 30.7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 30 should be that third line, that's 20 and that's 30. And the rest of the points should be plotted like this. Now just to be clear, this is 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Now. I can try to draw a line that passes through these points. Now this point may be a little bit off, so I'm going to assume that that's my mistake. And the line should look like this. Now I need to find the slope using rise over run. So slope is equal to rise, and both of the rise and the run now will be lawn. So taking this point and this point, this had the coordinates 1 and 2, decimal 5. This one had the coordinates 10 and 62.6. Subtracting ln of 62 decimal 8 minus ln of 2.5 over ln of 10 minus ln of 1. Using the calculator, ln of 62 decimal 8 minus ln of 2 decimal 5 divided by ln of 10 minus ln of 1 gives us the slope of 1.4. So the slope represented by the letter m is 1 decimal 4. And there you have it. Two examples on how to plot and calculate slope of exponential functions.